Hi, thanks for joining me on In the Real and to the Point. I'm your host, Sharon LeVette, the Surgeoner, and we're still um, on episode 6 1 Pink Hat Initiative, My WNBA Experience. So, um, this episode um, entails me going to see in Indiana the Chicago Sky versus the Indiana Fever, and I had a beautiful time. So I hope you enjoy this program, and um, follow me on In the Real and to the Point, and I will be with you in a moment. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Eddie Griffin um Stand-up comedy pro, um, I got to see, um, and we're gonna also talk about his, um, opening act, Hulk, the comedian, and also about my experience at the, my first WNBA basketball game with my favorite players, Nothing taking nothing from you, Caitlin. I mean, I am aware of all your accolades, but I love Angel Reese and Camilla Cardoso. Those are my my bio my Bayou Barbie and my baby Shaq. I mean, I know Shaq got his girl, but hey, Cordoso is that that under the rim type deal. I love it. I love it. And one up on you, Shaq. Like I say, I'm so sorry, but she make her free throws. Okay, we gonna need you to come on in. Come on, man. Hey, so stay with us, cause this is gonna be an interesting ride. So, and remember, hashtag remind me. Shayla for any um, shots or videos that you have of me at the game, especially with the fever, the fever bug, man, me and you gonna have to talk because we're going to do that dance shake off. You know what I mean? Can't shake my head too much because I get dizzy, but we're going to do that thing because I'm going to dance you off, buddy. I got you. So stay tuned and we'll be right with you in a minute. I hope you've enjoyed the program so far. We have um, Eddie Griffin, Hope, the comedian, and my talk about Craig Robinson. You know him from the office, so stay tuned. So welcome back. And in this segment, this is the poem, The Pursuit. When you are left to stand alone and the world seems so cold, the universe appears to be dead set against you. The darkness surrounds your every move. You have lied, you have been lied on and lied to, rejected, ignored, and accused. Without refuge or a sanctuary to rest, thrown out like trash, you fight for your sanity privately with Within this insane existence, no rhyme or reason, how did you get here? Left to stand on your own, to exist in the midst of the storm. My family has come and gone. On a cloud of hope, their names forever engraved in my heart. So your instinct is to fight. You plead for just a little more time. With words and with a pen, for your will to survive, to exist, the lesson is imminent. It begins. As you script and you engrave the articles of the reality, strength is key. Methodically thinking this type of life just is not for me. It ain't for me. I am drowning in sinking sand. I find it hard to stand, feeling the weight of life's demand. The bear you poked angrily awoke, and the hornet swarmed, ready 
to fight back. A legion of angels attacked. Everything that in every wrong that ensued. Every false witness subdued. A veil to hide the false hope. A bridle on the double-edged sword. When the master is for you, no wrong shall harm you. And you will never be alone. From words of wisdom, be kind to strangers. You might be entertaining an angel, cloaked with God's grace, mercy, and glory, holy, like an eagle that soars with unconditional love. God pursued me, sent true love to me. Faithful is his word eternally. Perfect is the person whom accepts their imperfections and still loves unconditional. Hi, I want to thank you for joining this show, Celestial, episode 5-3. And stay tuned because we have episode 6-1, my WNBA experience. Hi, thank you for joining me on this segment of my WNBA experience. I had to write an essay because um, I have memory issues and there are so many pictures that I have taken that um, I put in um, this segment and there's so many more because I wanted to know the experience of my trip and pictures help me to remember even the smallest of details. So there are some wonderful pictures, but there are so many more that I will upload in different segments because this ride was just perfect. It was my first WNBA experience, and I got to see it with the three top uh, um, picks. Um, for this season, um, like I say, I get lost and tangled in words. So um, I just thank you for continuing to watch and enjoy these programs because I'll come back and watch them because some of the things that I do or say, I don't remember. So um, on my little skits, I just enjoy going back and watching them because I'm hoping someday um I'll be able to start back, but I can't do a lot of movement, a lot of shaking because I still have bouts of dizziness. And um, so I'm a little unbalanced and I bet you can imagine how that is being out in public and people sometimes think that I'm drinking, but I do not drink. Um, so not, I haven't, I don't drink now, I did drink socially. So anyway, we're not going to get into that because you don't need to know all my business. But um, I'm still in recovery. So I'm doing as much as I can. And trust me, I got a lot of notes. This thing is not like it used to be. So um, just stay and watch. And... I'm going to tell you about my NBA experience. So, um, it was more than I could dare to imagine. It truly was and is about the positioning and the space you are put in. The place and the people are that are put there with you to be a witness to something so rare but prevalent. In your existence and still you have to pinch yourself in awe that this is happening and you are alive and to put, be put in this status I mean front row tickets to Eddie Griffin front row tickets to Chicago Sky and um, the Indiana Fever I mean I was courtside and I got to enjoy it with my son 
And then, like I say, some of the things that I forgot. I forgot that we were given the opportunity to touch the, I don't know if it was the exercise basketball or the basketballs, um, the game basketballs. But either way, it was so exciting because when I was going back and checking through the pictures, I found the pictures and I think I put them in this podcast um, because I was so excited to have taken these pictures. It was just amazing. Um, Some of the stuff that I saw but didn't see and I remember once I saw the pictures and it's just so great. I mean, it puts you in a place where you obtain a different type of confidence. I mean, it's a higher status quo. I mean, you did nothing that you feel like you deserve it, but everything is falling into place and all these things that happened to you that were so bad is now, it's like you're being rewarded for being so strong to make it through. And um, reality sets in and all you can realize is that your humility and being humble to the life that you still have and to the memories that you still can have. I mean, um, like that poster say, you know, I may not remember today, but I always have dreams about tomorrow. And I know that tomorrow is not promised to you, but it's just the idea that when I close my eyes, that day before most of it disappears until something happens to remind me of that day. So I'm thankful because I've made it to a place where I've reached 57, which is the oldest of Alec Hardaway and Maddie Simmons' children. So I made it to be the oldest heart away on this side of the European border. So, and I want to just let you know that I'm loving living this life. It's scary at times, but I'm living it to the fullest. So it does not matter what people say or think. Um, Just live life. You know, don't apologize for loving the life that you have to live. I mean, it's a great thing. The WNBA, I got to see Angel Reese. We going what? To spend what? Shopping to to spend some money. So on the 15th, I got to see Eddie Griffin, and his opening act was Hope the Comedian. And listen, this man's family goals are off the chain. I mean, their biggest accomplishment from what he's saying is he got two cousins that have the same dad. So, But you need to listen to his story about um, his situation. That's not my, my story to tell. And then, as I think about Eddie Griffin, man, listen, this dude is off the chain. Me and my son Brad had so much fun. I mean, the jokes, the attitude, the voice. Oh, my God, this man can sing. You can put him up against any any singer. He can hold his own. But you need to catch out Eddie Griffin. Now it's the 16th. Guess what it is? Game time! All right, so I want y'all to enjoy my WNBA experience. I mean, 
I had to watch the game, but I had to hold the game open and ball.
you've enjoyed the program so far, but this is my game nemesis right here. I love you, Feverbug. I'm sorry, but I was there for Angel Reese, baby. You know we had that fight. Okay, so let's remember, hashtag remind me Shayla on head trauma and memory loss. This is a very serious situation. And check out this here. The girl trying to show off her hat. Oh, here we are with Craig Robinson. Listen, I saw this cat twice. I'm waiting on my third time. I'm going to take a picture with you next time, Craig, baby. I love you. Hey, Camilla. All right, coach. You did the job, and I got all my great shots. I want you to know that I enjoyed Indiana. I enjoyed this game. It was a little one-sided, but I enjoyed it nonetheless because this was my first WNBA experience. And if I remember nothing else, I remember me and my son having a good time and Taco Bell have Hennessy in it in Indiana. i never seen it before. Check it out. Okay, and as I walk around, we see Team USA getting prepared trials for France. And here we are at the stadium, and we just enjoyed our walk around Indiana, around some of the main scenes downtown. We stayed at the Sheraton. Listen, people, the Sheraton should be a shame. You got to rent a... Microwave for $50, people, $50. Look at there, Reggie Miller up on the building. I enjoyed this place. Indiana is beautiful. And thank you all for having me. I had so much fun. Look at my angel baby. All right. And this is what I wake up to, and this is what I recite my words. Remind me, Shayla. Remind me, Shayla. Okay? Remember, I had enjoyed this atmosphere. I got to see a wedding um, family. That's my little studio you just saw. And like I said, follow me and hit that hashtag. See you later, Fever Bug.